The potential is that if we expose ourselves to the cold, to the heat, or we start to exercise, just moving, going out in nature, and reconnect to ourselves so body and mind is in balance again, then we will see what the human potential will be. Today there is so much that narrows our window for stress. The movement has become less and less a part of our daily life. We also eat a lot of processed food. We don't expose ourselves to different kinds of temperatures. And today we do see the results of that. We see all these sicknesses that is on the rise because we are not exposing ourselves to uh, different kinds of stressors, which keeps us actually healthy. best tools are actually the natural ones which have brought us to actually we are the, the last human species alive. That's a huge achievement and we only had nature, but we had ourselves. We were exposed to these extreme temperature changes which make your nervous system rebalance again. In a natural way we just had that but we need to get back to that. I'm a scientist and I wanted to figure out a way to lower inflammation by doing so, I got into all that researching winter swimmers in Denmark and going with them. And when I then started doing it, it was horrible and it was painful. But after a while, I started feeling that I got this increase in warmth quicker and quicker. Then you can really feel how body and mind is connected and what is actually going on. Because it's not just the increase in neurotransmitters in the brain, okay, I understand that. It's not only the contraction and dilation of your blood vessels, it's suddenly something that works together and you can totally feel that flow in the body when you go in the water and you get out. So I understood it on a personal level. Heat came into my life as well with the sauna and also breath work became like a side project for me because how can I use the breath work, the breathing, to dampen that stress response? Stress up to stress down is something that I tell people. You activate your sympathetic nervous system and in order for you to decrease that stress is that you have to use your breath. So what you could aim for is doing cold exposure and heat exposure in alternation. That is what we found in my research. 11 minutes of cold per week and 57 minutes of heat per week was actually enough. You can see that our winter swimmers had lower blood pressure, increased insulin sensitivity, and they also had constantly higher activation of brown fat throughout the day and night. The brown fat might be super important for our survival. It's because it increases our metabolism. If we accept that we need to search for what is uncomfortable and accept that as a premise for good health, then we really can reach our human potential. You can check out the Human Potential Content Hub on vivobarefoot.com.